In order to block certain websites, you can use screen time. So you go into the settings, screen time, content and privacy restrictions, content restrictions, Then you will select web content. If you have it on unrestricted, which is the default, then there's not anything specifically blocked with this method. You can choose allowed websites only, and you can add websites that are allowed, or you can do limit adult websites. And here you have the option to add never allowed websites. So say we have this student who is spending too much time on YouTube. So you can block YouTube, you hit add website and you type in youtube.com. Now when you go into the web browser, if you search for a video or try to go straight to YouTube, it'll tell you access restricted. So if I find somewhere that I can click on a YouTube link, it tells me it's restricted. There is one um, trick that teachers have been using recently, which is if you put a hyphen in the word YouTube between the T and the U, then it gives you ad-free versions. Since this changes the base of that URL, then those videos would still be accessible. This might be a way for you to specifically share videos with that student. Um, it would also be a way that the student could potentially work around and still be on YouTube when they're not supposed to. If that continues, then you could add that base URL of the yout-ube.com. Um, so I hope those things can help solve that specific problem. Um, and let me know if uh, more troubleshooting is needed.